Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley, and on this channel we talk all things budgeting and cash stuffing, including sinking funds and savings challenges. So today we are gonna go over my tips for the week. I am a server, I make 213 an hour um, plus tips. This is everything that I bring home um, for the week. We will also go over our weekly budget and what our cash stuffing is gonna look like for the week. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to my channel and stick around for the rest of this video. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I ended up working four days this week. I switched some things around. Um, one of my coworkers forgot to request off a day. So we kind of switched and I ended up doing multiple doubles back to back. Um, so I only only ended up working um, four days a week. Well, technically five if you count my cleaning shift, but I'm not counting that this week. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and just go ahead. Wow, y'all, I cannot speak. It is Sunday night right now while I'm filming this, and it was a crazy weekend. Um, but our budget needed it, so I am very thankful. Um, this is going to be from Thursday night. Thursday night, I ended up food running, um, which means I was the one taking out all the food to all the tables, and the servers tipped me out for that. Um, so I made 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So $80 food running on Thursday. Um, Friday, I just ended up working the morning and I made 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 120, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 130 for a Friday morning. Um, and I actually got out decently early that Friday morning too. Um, next up is Saturday. So Saturday I worked a double shift. I got like a 45 minute break, um, but pretty much I was there from like 10 a.m. until like 9.30 p.m. Um, so it was a long day. I made 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, so that is 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 95, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I made $311 on Saturday. Um, next up is Sunday, which was today's shift as of filming. It was a very long shift, and I don't know about anybody else, but the temperature has risen drastically around here. And y'all, please be kind to your servers when it's hot out, because when it's hot out, that means the heat in the kitchen is exponential. I don't remember sweating this much, but every year, every year it surprises me. But today was a long one. Um, I don't know if it's the nice weather and people are out, but it was a crazy busy day. So let's see what I made. I made 50, 100, 150. And then we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that is gonna be 250, 270, 290, 310. Wait. Yeah, 330, 330, 340, 350, 360, today, Sunday, and my feet are definitely killing me. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, I'm gonna go, go ahead and put this all to the side for us. Now I'm gonna pull out my budget sheet and I've kind of already started this. So everything that I made for the week did end up to be $909. Um, I do have my husband's paycheck written in here um, as he did get paid this past Friday. You will notice it's a little bit lower than what his normal paychecks are and that is to account for the extra money um, that was spent for his trip. So that is coming out of this paycheck. So that is not gonna be cash stuffed into the bill categories. So I just kind of already took that out, already took that money out and put it towards the credit card. Okay, now I did go ahead and allocate all the money um, from his paycheck as that's all going towards um, our bills right now. Um, I did fully fund our mortgage, our HOA fees, our um, T-Mobile payment, our PayPal, electric, and our natural gas all for June. So we are about through halfway through our bills for June. Um, I might have to kind of um, move a little bit of this money around or maybe add a little bit extra because I haven't technically gotten those bills just yet. Um, but last month our electric bill was only I think like $60 or somewhere around there. So I don't think it's going to be too much more but with the way the heat's been who knows. Um, and our natural gas bill has been around the $30, $40 range. So I'm just going to leave it there. I might have to add or move around some of that money later but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and move on to my portion of our budget. So I, first off, when I was writing this out, I was not thinking <laughs> and I skipped around, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, our Amazon, um, our subscription for that is gonna be due at the beginning of July. So I do wanna go ahead and start putting um, a little bit more towards that so we can make sure that it is fully funded and ready for that full payment to come out in July. So we are going to be adding um, $21 to that this week. And the way I figured that out, just so y'all kind of know where my brain is at, is I just wanted to go ahead and color in three of the little prime things on my little tracker here. Um, yeah, so I wanted to color in three, so we're gonna do $21. Um, then the only other subscription that we are gonna be stuffing is our normal gym subscription, and that always gets $10 a week. And now taxes. So taxes, I am stuffing, pardon me, um, 5% of my tipped income, so 909 times 5% is about $45, so $45 there. And now over here for our cash envelopes, um, I am changing this up a little bit this week than um, what I have been doing but it's not too much of a drastic change. So me and my husband will still be getting our normal $25. And groceries is gonna be staying at $200. We do need to get like um, some bulk items like toilet paper and paper towels this week, but we are still pretty stocked besides, you know, needing to pick up the, the fresh fruits and vegetables kind of thing. So I think 200 um, plus our $33 rollover should be enough for the week. Um, gas, I am going to actually, so I have been doing $50, but I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 60 this week. Um, we do have some left over here, but I need to fill up my tank and I'm not sure my husband where he's at. So I just want to go ahead and put $60 towards that. Um, for pet care, I am going to be doing $40 and dining. So I do I kind of want to calm down on going out and doing crazy things um, until we kind of get our sinking funds 
and our bill account kind of back in order, but I do wanna put aside some money for dining. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $50 there. Um, next up is fun. Fun, I am gonna stick with what we have been doing there on a normal basis and put $20 there. And then miscellaneous, I'm gonna do $10 this week. And that's just to bump up that fund a little bit more than what it has been at. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything over here for our savings challenges and stuff, but let's go ahead and look at our $1 challenge and figure out how many ones that we have with the letter A. Um, I do this every week, although y'all, I forgot to do it last week because I was like in such a pinch um, for money, but I did go back through my cash envelopes um, and switch out those one, those A's from last week um, from my tips this week. So there are definitely some A's in here because I think I had I had w at least one in there last week. Where did they go? There's one, there's one. Oh, they're all at the end. And there's one. Okay, so we have three ones that have the letter A for our $1 challenge. So I'm gonna mark that over here. Um, we can go ahead and go through some of my things here. Um, our retirement, we did skip last week. Um, so this week is going to be 20. I'll probably catch that up in my side hustle video. Um, that the side hustle income video. So we won't stay behind, but it'll be $20 for this week. Um, let's see. Actually, let's, let's keep looking through this. I'll kind of take y'all through kind of what my mind go through is when I'm planning this out. Um, this is my credit card savings challenge. We won't do anything there. Vacation challenge. Now I do want this to be fully funded um, by this month as our June vacation is getting closer and closer. It's like in the second week of June. Um, so I think I'm going to do most of it in this for this income, let's see, but I'll save some that I'll stuff for my side hustle income. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stuff, um, I'm gonna stuff 50 so we'll be able to color in a sun and a star. And then that way we only have $30 left after that. I'm not gonna stuff electronics right now, this is not a priority for me. Um, I do want to stuff pet emergency, but again, I have more higher priorities, so I'm just going to do the $10 one there. Um, same with date night. Date night, I'm just going to do the lower one as well and do $5. Um, we'll do one for the fuel up, so that'll be 15 and the dog mom challenge. Ugh, I had to skip this last week and I was so sad. So let's go ahead. I think we're gonna put $10 towards that this week. And that's it for the savings challenges. Um, I'm not gonna do all of our sinking funds. I'm gonna kind of go through here and see um, what... What is most important for us? I did already decide that I'm not stuffing um, Debt Snowball this week just because I want to get everything kind of back in order. I feel like the past couple months for me have just been kind of all over the place. We've had, you know, big emergencies come up and just other little things that have kind of like nickel and dimed our savings. So I'm going to hold off on the Debt Snowball. Um, but everything else, I think I'm going to go ahead and stuff here. So if you want to see what I stuff in those sinking, sinking funds, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, and my sinking funds videos usually come out on Friday. This week, 
uh, is going to be a little bit different though. We're gonna have extra videos. So most likely my Sinking Funds video will actually be out on Wednesday, maybe Thursday, give or take. I still haven't, you know, completely looked at what this week's lineup's gonna look like, but it should be up within the next few days, Friday at the latest. But I think that's gonna be it for now, y'all. I hope this kind of helped you see how uh, my brain processes everything as I go along. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys. Seriously, it means the world to me. All right, I will see you next time when we do our cash stuffing for our bills and cash envelopes. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you then. Bye.